Hey guys, we're up to part five, and we are continuing here our discussion of MetaBase. So we were talking about creating a client table. Now I'm going to do a custom query. I'm going to say I'm going to look at NodeDB. I'm going to look at my client table, and I want to get specifically the count. Uh, let's see, view by raw data, no count of rows. And I want to get the answer. 11, OK. Select count. So I'm going to save this as count of clients. Let's see, count of clients. Okay. Hey guys, so I just worked on this SQL query in order to save time. And what I want to show you is how um, Metabase automatically taps into the power of a client creation date. Client creation date, if you remember our schema for our database, was it was just a column within the client table, and I said that this drop-down filter should be automatically tied to the MySQL creation date. I went into the variables section over here, and I went into field filter. You can choose what kind of integer type you want it to be, client creation date, client, and you actually choose the column, right? So if I want to go to the blog post, let's see, I can actually go back and click. I want something from blog post or one of the other tables, one of the other fields, but I want it specifically to be from the client table and client creation date. And I call it a date filter, and that's all there is to it. I press save, and I'm going to save it. Then I also want to add it to a dashboard. I want to add it to our client dashboard and show you what we can do here. OK, I think we're going to get it within this quick tutorial. I've got a max of five minutes within each one. So uh, I've got my count, and I've got my, my date, right? Uh, this is really hard to see, so I need to make this smaller. I've got my count and I got my date. Five on an ungiven date. And then I'm going to go into add filter. I want to go into uh, other category. No, time. Time and all options. And date filter. That's all there is to it. Date filter is going to be tied. A sec. Date filter is tied with select this date filter that we have on here, client creation date. OK, and we're going to even call that not date filter, but client creation date. OK, and I'm going to press done. Awesome. And once that is all done, I'm going to go down over here, and I'm going to press save. Oh, we have another client creation date here, and that also makes sense. OK, so client creation date, I want to only show the, the count of this specific date, OK? Date, client creation date. OK, it's a little misspelled, but that can be easily fixed. So client creation date was on December 21st. On December, we're not in February, we're in December 21st. And update filter, it should only be one row now. Let's see if this works. Yes, it does work, OK? And we press save. And now I want to make this a little nicer. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to save that as a bar chart, because bar charts are awesome. And I'm going to remove the client creation date and get the answer. And I'm going to say, you know what? I want a bar chart. This is awesome. They have lines. Have a look at this. Boom. One, blank, two, zero, one, two. You have area. You can customize the colors, by the way. Bar chart is my favorite by far. And there we go, a bar chart. So we want to fix this, though. Date and the number. So client creation date, x-axis is the count. No, x-axis is the date, y-axis is the count. And I'm going to go to display here. I say show goal, no. Axes, why does this look terrible, right? Show x-axis on the line. We want it to be fatter. Right, for sure. X-axis is ordinal. There we go. Much better. You just play around with it a little bit, and it'll look much better. OK, and there we go. We have date, which is a specific date and the count. Ah, Thursday, December 21st. This had no date. This had December 21st. This had December 22nd. Count is two. And on Thursday, January 18, the count was three. And there we go. And you can add multiple uh, multiple filters, but that's really awesome. And you're starting to understand a little bit.